welcome to the daily devotional for Thursday, 22nd October 2020. Today's topic is legalistic or Christ-like. Um, our Bible reading will be taken from Luke chapter 18, verse 19 to 14. Then Jesus told his story, the story to some who had great confidence in their own righteousness and scorned everyone else. Two men went to the temple to pray. One was a Pharisee and the other was a despised tax collector. The Pharisee stood by himself and prayed this prayer. I thank you God that I am not like other people, cheaters, sinners, adulterers. I'm certainly not like that tax collector. I fast twice a week and I give you tenth of my income. But the tax collector stood at a distance and dared not even lift his eyes to heaven as he prayed. Instead, he beat his chest in sorrow saying, O oh God, be merciful to me, for I am a sinner. I tell you, this sinner, not the Pharisee, returned home justified before God. For those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. Our memory verse is taken from Ephesians 2, verse 19. So now you Gentiles are no longer strangers and foreigners. You are citizens along with all of God's holy people. You are members of God's family. Yes, indeed, we are members of God's family. And um, I would want to encourage you to believe that as long as you have Christ, as long as you live your life for him, as long as you've accepted him into your life, you are a member of God's family. So today we're talking about what it means to be legalistic in comparison to being Christ-like or being a Christian. And the reason is that a lot of times people focus so much on rules that they deviate from what is actually important, which is being Christ-like, which is living our lives for him. That is what Christianity is really. Being like Christ, living our lives for him, living our lives to honor him, living our lives to please him. The truth is, Christ himself is love. So if we focus on him, if we focus to live our lives for him, we find out that we live in love. And when you live in love, you find it even easier to obey rules, obey regulations, and obey his, law, his word in the Bible. But what happens is that a lot of times Christians are so focused, or people generally are so focused on rules and regulations, that they forget the important things, the things that are more important. And as I said earlier, Christ should be our focus as Christians. Christ should be our focus. And since Christ and love are the same, love should be our focus. When Jesus was asked in the Bible, what the greatest commandment was or what it is he said you shall love the lord thy god with all thy heart with all thy mind and he said the second is also equally important you shall love your neighbor as yourself you find out that a lot of most of the um the commandments in the bible fall under these two categories loving god and loving our neighbors and if you love god you would obey everything that he has asked you to do in his word if you love your neighbor you would be kind to them, you would be nice to them, you would, you would do the right thing in the area of you know, pleasing the next person or showing them love. So really, at the end of it all, our focus should be Christ. Our focus should be love. Our focus should be living our lives for Christ and living like Him. Rules and regulations, they're good, they're fine. They're to guide us, they're to guide us. They're not to imprison us, they're not to make us prisoners. They're not to cause us to forget the true reason for our existence. People talk about people are focused on what they what they should wear in, in the, in the um, context of looking um, pious or holier than the next person. They want to look more conservative than the next person. People focus on what they should eat in terms of what is clean and what is unclean and what is holy and what is unholy. You know, people focus on even like in church. Oh talk in this way, address people in this way, greet people in this way, bow in this corner, bow at that corner. And then you find out that the focus is so much on all these things that people forget the true core of our existence and the, the, the real things that we are supposed to focus on. So I know that it might be difficult. People struggle. You may be struggling with these things. You may even condemn yourself because you are, you're finding it difficult to adhere to certain rules and regulations. But I want to encourage you today that as long as Christ is your focus, as long as you love him, as long as you live your life to please him, at the end, all these things will fall in place. So 
I want to encourage someone today to live your life for Christ. Live your life loving him and pleasing him. And he would see you through everything that you struggle with in life. God bless you. Have a beautiful day. Thank you.